another Friday. Hello, everybody. Welcome to another Friday class. My name is Ma Puana. I live in California, and I open up my Zoom every Friday at 3 p.m. Pacific time. For anyone in doTERRA that wants to create a healthier lifestyle with all of our products, I am a clinical massage therapist and a certified labor doula. I also am a wife, mother, and caregiver. And I use doTERRA on everybody in every area of my life. So I love doTERRA products and I believe that everybody should have some in their home. So if you're the type of person that wants to create a healthier lifestyle with doTERRA, then you are in the right place today, okay? We come together to inspire one another. We talk about different subjects and then we always stick doTERRA into it because doTERRA is a lifestyle, right? We have our oils in our purse, in every room in our house, we have multiple diffusers. And so, yeah, we come together and inspire one another. Today's topic is winter skin. So before I actually jump into my outline here, just want to remind everybody to drop comments in the chat feature, drop questions there. You could use the reactions button on the bottom of your screen to participate and show us how you're feeling about what I'm sharing. Get your cameras ready because I do have slides that you might want to take pictures of with recipes of um, different things that you can make for your skin. Okay, so let's dive in. Winter skin. Winter skin wrecks havoc on your skin barrier. So the skin barrier is essentially a fortress that seals up your body, right? When the surrounding air is extremely dry, as often happens in winter time, it can strip the skin's barrier, that natural moisturizer. So our skin is constantly fluctuating with the environment. And during winter time, the humidity drops sharply and the temperature goes down. So you have an extreme drying atmosphere. Okay, so your skin is losing lots of water. Add to that the fact that some of us don't drink enough water already, let alone in the cold weather, don't want to drink any water, right? So we walk around even a little bit more dehydrated. Now, research has found that as the temperature dips, eczema patients seek treatment more often. And people who live in cold climates are much more likely to have eczema than those who live in warmer areas. Now, more than 31 million Americans have eczema, also known as atopic dermatitis in some form, right? There are other skin issues that pop up during the season, such as psoriasis, rosacea, major chapped lips, cracked heels, um, one of my slide presentations has lots of photos that we're going to take a look at, okay? But raise your hand if you suffer with numbness in your hands or your feet due to the cold weather. I'm suffering with that this year. It is a challenge. So I wear gloves, lots of socks, and we're going to talk about some other things that you can do to keep your skin barrier hydrated and healthy, okay? Okay. So today I have three different slide presentations and we're gonna go through them really fast. The first one I picked out online simply because of the pictures and the second and third slide presentation are straight from doTERRA that get into some of the oils and some of the other products that we have available to us, okay? So let me go ahead and share my screen and get started with the first presentation or with the first slideshow. Okay, and somebody just go ahead and unmute yourselves and actually let me shrink this first and let me know, D, if you can, let me know if you see all of this and it looks good. Winter I can see it, it looks good. Okay, perfect. Winter and skin disorder. So this slide presentation was created by a physician who practices Ayurvedic medicine, okay? 
And these are some of the stats that are out there. 3.1% of the population suffer from dry skin. So that's 31 out of 100 people, but it's probably higher than that, right? Uh, depending upon where you live, um, the weather is different, but cold everywhere right now, right? 55% of pre-existing skin ailments get exacerbated during this time of year. So some of these slides I'm going to cover, some I'm going to skip over. But the question is, is there any association between winter, winter and skin problems? And so this presentation goes through all the what, high, how, why, whom, and then prescriptions, because it stems from that, okay? So the words at the top there are just, just mean winter or extreme dryness. And so you have different um, temperatures and it's cold outside, but then sometimes in our house, we make it really warm and hot. And going from extreme weather climates sucks the moisture out of your skin even more, right? Then you end up with dryness, itchiness, scaly looking old skin. So if you stay with that, you eventually, it gets worse and worse and worse where manifestation of diseases take place, right? Um, eventually you get itchy. Sometimes little kids, actually, you'll see them scratching just because they're dry and they will take the top layers, the epidermis off and eventually start bleeding or it will get raw. Then you're dealing with a little bit more extreme situations. So here are some of the common symptoms. Dry, scalpy, uh, scaly skin, especially in extremities. So think from head to toe, even your scalp. Some people have dandruff a lot more during the season because their the scalp is dry. Itchy, redness, blisters, bumps, flaky scaling, burning sensations, dry, chapped lips. Okay, and here are the pictures. Pictures speak a thousand words, right? Does your skin look like this? Are you suffering? Because we've got solutions for you. Now, here are some common skin diseases that flare up in winter. If you take a look at this list, you probably recognize some of these things. Some of these things I had to actually look up, but dry eczema, psoriasis, fungal infections, rosacea, we already mentioned some of those, right? Dandruff. Here's an extreme case of psoriasis. And a lot of times we don't talk about gut health when it comes to skin issues, but here in doTERRA, we understand how the body works. Every system is connected and you must also look at what you put inside your body and how your gut is behaving, right? Eczema, dry, red, itchy patches, atopic dermatitis. A lot of times you'll see this on breastfeeding babies because their cheeks get a little wet and they're not, it's not dried off, but it gets irritated, right? Because of the coldness. Cold urticaria, fungal infections, and these can take place anywhere on the body, arms, legs, feet, the core, rosacea, right? If you have experience with any of these and you have found help with doTERRA oils, then drop that in the chat. Share some of your mixtures, your recipes. Here's another skin condition, a chronic autoimmune disease. See, so we need to oftentimes address winter skin, both from the inside and the outside. Okay, so here are some contraindications, which are things that you don't want to do, which is hot and long showers, excessive use scrubs, like even really drying yourself off roughly with a towel afterwards, they say during this season isn't always necessary. You can pat dry and then put on a lotion or an oil to seal in the moisture. Lack of protective clothing, and of course, dehydration, which should be easy for us to take care of with our new recharge electrolytes, right? So again, 
You need to treat it from the inside and outside. Get on top of the matter so that you could prevent the worst things, the, the major things from taking place, right? Okay, so here are some home remedies that this doctor recommended, body misting. You could have, I have little spray bottles um, at almost every desk in our house. I just like to spritz every once in a while. It feels good. In the summertime, it's refreshing, but in the wintertime, it feels good because of the moisture. But notice that second bullet point, tulasi and honey. That is Tulsi. Holy basil essential oil. So that's the first one that we're talking about. Holy basil <clears throat> is great for skin conditions. On my skin, it tends to feel a little hot. So I always use a carrier oil with it. And I typically use that oil for pain management, not for skin. So as I was going through this presentation, I was like, hey, I have another reason to use Tulsi. It does mention carrier oils, the almond oil there, coconut oil or olive oil. And then notice it talks about omega-3 fatty acids. So our brand new omega that just was released in September is going to help us from the inside out have a healthy skin barrier. And then it does mention all different types of food. Okay. So that is that presentation. Let me, or that slideshow, let me close that one and bring up the next one. And there is a little bit in the chat, so I'm glad to see that. Okay, doTERRA essential oils for skin. Where you're going to want to, let me make that full screen and I'll start going to it. So are there benefits of using our essential oils for skin? We all know there, there is, right? We have a whole skincare line, the Virage, the Renewal. Use of essential oils on skin help direct topical application. You can use essential oils for cleaning your face as lotions, moisturizers, there's safety guidelines. So remember some of our oils are hot and the citrus oils you do not want to use and then go out. You outside? Mm -mm. Hey, Mar uh, Mentha, can you mute, please? Um, <laughs> or can somebody mute her? Thank you. So remember to uh, be safe with your oils. We were talking about citrus oils, right? Don't go out in the sun. So which oils should you use? Skin imperfections. There's a whole list. Okay, hold on just a second. Let's go back here. Oh, I, I muted her. I got it. Thank you, Jennifer. Okay. Now we're going to be getting into the oils, right? So tea tree is top of your mind when you think about skin imperfections. So whiteheads, blackheads, scars, right? But don't forget about HD Clear. HD Clear, our topical blend is very strong. It has black cumin in it. And I don't really like the smell, but I love the function whenever I break out. And all of my teenagers love the HD Clear skincare line. Lavender, melaleuca, frankincense, grapefruit, patchouli, heliochrysum, sandalwood, and rose. Now, let's talk about anti-aging. For those of us who are a little older, right? This Immortel blend is pure gold. It is in a roller bottle, but it is not diluted. So a lot of times, some of us, we will separate that into, we'll pour half of that into another roller bottle and top it off with a carrier oil to make two bottles out of one. Smells amazing. Patchouli, heliochrysum, myrrh, frankincense, and rose, all anti-aging. Now, here's what you use for a smooth complexion. Coriander. Would you, would you ever think of using coriander for skin? Most people don't. 
Most people use it as a spice in the kitchen, um, but for skin, it is really, really good. Clary sage, geranium, helichrysum, myrrh, sandalwood, ylang ylang, neroli, great for scar tissue healing. Straight out of surgery, Dr. Riggs already said, you can apply frankincense and lavender directly to the suture and then neroli or rose about an inch away from the suture all the way around it and the tissue will heal very nicely. Blue tansy, rose, and jasmine. Skin purifying, melaleuca or tea tree, grapefruit, juniper berry, spike nard, bergamot, and Douglas fir. Okay, so here is my favorite doTERRA skincare line, the Virage skincare set. Smells heavenly. It reminds me of Hawaii. <laughs> There's nothing like it. So if you haven't tried it, put that on your LRP. This is the HD Clear skincare set that I was talking about. It's only a three-step program. You have a foam cleanser, the oil, and then the lotion, a moisturizer. Here's our essential skincare line a variety of products to choose from. That hydrating cream is only $35. It's amazing. And if you add a couple of drops of blue tansy, you exemplify those moisturizing properties. In comparison to some of the other moisturizers on the market that you might find at Macy's or, you know, even on Amazon, it is so much more affordable and it is much healthier for your skin. The other favorite product I like here is the anti-aging eye cream because it comes with a, you put it on right underneath your eyes, it helps puffy eyes in the morning, and it comes with a little silver ball that is always cold. And so the temperature as well as the moisturizer really helps. Absolutely love that one. And then we have lots of doTERRA spa products. So, body wash, a mud mask, our hand and body lotion is non-scented, so you can add your own scent to it. We have lip gloss that has shea butter. We have a variety of hand lotions. Um, let's see, the Gardenia one just came out on the holiday list of products, and we also have a Malama hand lotion. We have soap, the body scrub. And then if you caught my little reel this morning that I made, I highlighted the replenishing body butter. This stuff is amazing. This stuff keeps my hands nice and soft throughout the day. And I only put a little bit on at a time. I usually have to apply maybe twice, twice a day. Absolutely love this stuff. Does anybody have anything they want to share really quickly about some of these products? I like to take the unscented lotion and add my own oils to it. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yep. That lotion comes in a three pack. So you could have a variety of scents that you mix, you know, oils that you mix up in with it. And so that's pretty cool. And so if you go to our blog, we talked about that last week on our class, you will find lots of DIY skincare recipes. And so that's the end of that slideshow. Now let's wrap it up with the last one. Stick with me here. Let me do share. And then here. And then here. Now, here's another slideshow with different oils and even some recipes. Essential oils and personal care. Okay, so using essential oils for personal care beautifying skin and hair. A lot of times we just take even the beard oil. Sometimes after a shower, I'll just put one or two drops in my hand and I'll just go down my hair while it's wet. So which oils to use for personal care? So here is a list of different types of skin types. Do you have normal skin? Do you have blemishes? Do you have mature skin? Do you have oily skin, dry skin, or a combination? Take a picture. 
because these are the oils that you will want to gravitate to. And then it does have a reminder on the bottom for sensitive skin, dilute oils with fractionated coconut oil or almond oil and avoid applying to eyes and other sensitive areas. Avoid sunlight or UV rays for up to 12 hours after applying citrus oils. Okay, so a reminder there about coconut oil. This is a cool recipe, lime ginger brown sugar scrub. Very simple, brown sugar, coconut oil, lime, and ginger oil. We've done these before at uh, Make and Take classes, and everybody gets to take home a little mason jar, and it smells good, it feels good, and it's very simple to make. Again, there's our Virage and our HD Clear and oils for hair. You could simply throw it on your brush or you could put it on your hands. And here are the best essential oils for hair. Rosemary stimulates hair growth. Geranium solidifies the hair follicles. Clary sage, lang lang, jasmine, sandalwood. Peppermint and Roman chamomile together are an amazing smell. I don't usually use those two at the at nighttime. I like to use that in the morning because of the pick me up from the peppermint, right? Marva, you have your hand up. The peppermint is good for strengthening your roots. Ah, very good. Yeah, I'm working on a couple of spots where I need more hair to grow in. So I'm working with rosemary and peppermint right now. So we also have shampoo and conditioners and the root to tip serum and also the yarrow palm, right? Yarrow palm is great for your skin. I, I don't use it on my hair, but what else? Oh, um, this one from the lab at convention. If anybody went to convention and got this oil, it was a mm -hmm. mixture of five different oils with castor oil and it, solidif it really solidifies moisture after a shower and eat in the evening time. Here's another recipe, geranium hair mask. Two eggs, honey, olive oil, and geranium. Very simple, but very effective and locks in the moisture. So again, a reminder about our shampoo and conditioner. And now we actually have the shampoo and conditioner bar which the conditioner bar is really good on my skin. I mean, and my, and my hair. I have had people when I'm using it, cause I switch off between the shampoo and conditioner bar and the liquid shampoo and conditioner. When I go back to the bar, people always recognize how shiny my hair looks. So I love that. And let's not forget about oral care that's included in this presentation. Myrrh is great for the gums. So literally we have an oil for every area of your body to help balance out the moisture. Clove is great for pain. If you're going through any type of dental work, whether it be root canals, filling cavities, um, bridges, fennel, frankincense, helichrysum, lime, peppermint, spearmint. And here is a recipe for a mouthwash. And let's not forget about our On Guard toothpaste, which I really prefer over the, what is it? The Super Mint toothpaste. <laughs> so those were all of the slideshows, all of the ideas. And so you know that we have lots of products to help us keep our skin healthy, right? And don't forget about the sunscreen, even in the winter time, we need to apply sunscreen, okay, to protect our skin. We have a variety of oils, a variety of skincare lines to pick from, and we have lots of DIY recipes that we can make to help keep our skin healthy so that our inside is healthy as well. So that's what I have for today. We're going to open it up to a discussion. Questions, comments. Hello, Joe. Nice to see you. Do we have any questions or comments? What do you guys think? Oh, I forgot to mention these. I got these. 
Oh, I love those. These are shea butters. Um, one has blue tansy, yarrow, and neroli. I think it was last year, huh? Last year, doTERRA came out with a three set during the holidays. And I was hoping that it was going to come out again, but they they didn't have it. So we have to make our own. <laughs> <laughs> Which isn't impossible. You just have to buy all this stuff, right? So, <laughs> Connie, what did you think? I love essential oils. I've been using them for years. And uh, they are fantastic for the skin, for other health issues. Um, I'm a retired massage therapist. So I used a lot of oils for pain um, in different areas, different oils. Uh, so yeah, I, I just ah. love it. Awesome. Very okay. cool. See this one, how, how blue it is. It has the blue tansy in it. It's so pretty. And then that set gave us an unscented so that we were able to put our own scent in it. I loved this set. I carry those in my purse just in case I need them. So Alrighty, let's see. I have some announcements to close out our session. Who here has already heard about BOGOs? Are you excited? I'm so excited. Everybody's raising their hand. Yes. Yeah. <sighs> Erica, you heard about BOGOs already? Okay. Yes, I have. <laughs> awesome. Awesome. So like it just got announced today. So don't expect me to know everything. Okay. And I'm sure you could uh, follow different social media websites or websites to find out about it. Um, but I do want to rem remind everybody that the bundle is available. So in the past, they would have a BOGO box. The last BOGO, they didn't. We had to buy them, you know, all together. But the BOGO bundle is $236.50 wholesale. So literally you buy five, you get seven for free. I don't know how much better doTERRA can, can do. Immortel is included in this bundle. You buy, rose. you buy Immortel, you get rose free. Yes. So what, Ooh, when does it start? It starts on the 19th, and this time it's only for three days. The 19th, 20th, and 21st. Ooh, just got to grab it right when it starts. <laughs> yes, yes. So there was a question posted on one of the Facebook pages. Can we start sharing this with our customers now? And the answer to that is absolutely, yes. Please share it so people can prepare. So they only have three days to buy it. You could buy it as, as a bundle, or you could just buy one BOGO, Right. By Immortel, get rose free. By Heliochrysum, get Copaiba touch and balance touch free. That's three oils. Heliochrysum touch. Uh, by On Guard, get breathe. Everybody needs On Guard and breathe. Right are those now. ones touch or are those the bottle? No, those are the 15 ml. mLs. Yeah. Oh, the 15 ml? For On Guard and breathe, yes. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Okay, I'm excited now. <laughs> yeah, mm -hmm. right. Um, that's only 20, not, that's 30. PV or, or is that a 39? That's 39. Okay. Then by purify and, um, purify, get lemon for free. And just the other day I learned that purify is fantastic for urinary tract infections. And I was like, mm -hmm. you gotta really remember that topically. Mm -hmm. Somebody told me, mm -hmm. so that that's great. Um, and then here's one of my husband's favorite oils by Northern escape, get black spruce for free. Northern Escape is amazing. And then if you buy 150 PV worth of BOGOs, you will get a free 15 ml Bergamo. So lots of good deals coming up next week, the 19th, 20th, and 21st. If you have any questions, reach out to the person who invited you to this class or me, and we will help you get your order straight or answer all your questions. Okay. So 
we're going to wrap it up with the last thing. Next week, here again, three o'clock, we are going to be talking all about MetaPower Assist in the appropriate time before we go into, you know, that next week with a lot of junk food around, right? And I don't care, even if you don't celebrate, um, you still get tempted while you go grocery shopping to buy lots of sugary treats. And so we want to remember to take our MetaPower Assist to help regulate our blood sugar levels, okay? So we're going to be talking about that all next week. All right, everybody, thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. for joining me. We'll see I you have next one comment. Yes. On the BOGOs, this is the best time to get the helichrysum because the helichrysum and the balance are not in our catalog as touch items. So it's the best time to get them. Oh, interesting. Thank you so much for that. Um, I'm going to remember that because the helichrysum is pretty powerful, right? Everybody has to have that in their um, in their medicine cabinet. So, okay. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Mar Marva. All right, everyone. Have a great weekend. Bye.